Hello guys, welcome back to Coding Cafe. My name is Mohamed Ali and in the previous video tutorial, as you know that we have displayed the contact list from the Firebase database using the Firebase Recycler adapter here on our contacts fragment. Now what we are gonna do is that we will work, uh, I mean we will create a new fragment and that will be our request fragment so that we can see that uh, how much request a user receive uh, from the other user who are using this app and how much people want to connect their self with this uh, current user so yeah let's do that so for that go to the android studio and first of all here we need to create a fragment so new and here we can simply click fragment and blank fragment and now the name of our this fragment will be request fragment and make sure to uncheck both of these and now click finish so you can see that uh, project is synced successfully on our uh, request fragment is launched successfully now the next thing we need is to go to the fragment request.xml file click here on text and from here what we are going to need is to first select this frame layout and change this to relative layout okay and now the second thing you need to do is to remove this text view from here sorry for that remove this whole text view from here and now let's drag and drop a recycler view here so by using this recycler view with the firebase recycler adapter we can uh, display all the uh, requests okay the chat request from other users so this is our recycler view now click on text and now here we need to give it some id so the id will be chat underscore requests underscore list so this will be our request list and yeah match parent match parent and these two will be true so yeah that's it and now the next thing is to include this uh, request fragment here on our main page i mean here just like you guys see this chats fragment group fragment and contacts fragment so here at the end we want to add this fourth fragment so for that what we're going to do is to click on this tabs accessor adapter click on that double click on that and here we have this method by the name get item so what i'm going to do is simply i will copy this case too okay copy this and we can pass that in the next line and now we will change it to case 3 because this is our third one as you know we are starting from the 0 okay so overall we have four fragments okay 1 2 3 and 4 so the name of this uh, fragment is a request fragment and make sure to change the object of that which is request fragment or you can give it any name you want but make sure to remember that okay so this one also changed to the request fragment and now by using this name we can return that here so yeah that's it so now the next thing is to uh, give it a title and also now we have four I mean four fragments so remove these three and here you can simply write four because we have four fragments now now the next thing is to give it a title so you can simply copy this one and now in the next line we can simply pass that here and change this to 3 and the name of this will be requests so yeah that's it now let's check this so I will run the app to see if it is working or not so you can see that the app is running now successfully and here we go you can see this I mean the request fragment okay so now what we will be doing is that to retrieve all the request for a specific user that is let's say I am an online user or you can say the current user who are using his app okay so now how much people uh, sent me a chat request basically the new people I mean the new people uh, about whom I do not I mean I do not know about them but they want to talk with me okay so that request we will see here just like you guys see in whatsapp so we will be doing that in the next video tutorial for now in this video tutorial what we are gonna do is to close this okay now and now the next thing is to add this recycler view to define and initialize this recycler view here on our request fragment so for that what I am going to do is that here I can simply first create a view 
and we can give it a name as require fragment view and now copy this and remove this return from here and we can pass that and now we have to return this so after that we can say return request request fragment view so yeah that's it and now let's define our uh, recycler view so for that we can say private recycler view and let's give it a name as my requests list and now here we can initialize it so here I can say my request list equal recycler view and by using the request fragment view we can give it ID so you can say find view by ID or dot ID dot and the ID of a recycler view is chat request list make sure to put a semicolon here and then we can say my request list dot set layout manager new linear layout manager and the context we can get by using this get context method so yeah that's it and now in the so this is basically the initialization of our recycle view and now the next thing which we want to do in this video tutorial is to go to the layout and here if you come down and we have this users display layout okay by which we display all the users okay so here click on text and now we need to add uh, two buttons here one is the accept and the cancel and these two buttons will be visible only on our request fragment if a user if a I mean if a user has some request from other people I mean the chat request so for that what I'm going to do is uh, here you can see we have this uh, text view at the end okay so after this text view what I am going to do is I will here create another linear layout which will be match parent wrap content and make sure to first give it orientation and the orientation for this one will be horizontal and now inside we can add a button and it should be wrap content and height will be 30 dp let's give it some id to it and the ID will be request underscore accept button btn and now the next thing we can align sorry it will be our layout align layout underscore align okay first of all remove this let's give it a text to this button and it should be accept text size should be 16 SP text all caps should be false we need to give it a background so for that button we can give it a green color to it just like a green signal okay so we can say green and here we have this hollow green light and you can see this okay this is the button and it looks amazing now we need another button so we can simply copy and paste that here and make sure to change the ID of this to request cancel button and change the text of this button to cancel and let's give it some margin from the start so we can simply say margin Start and it should be uh, 15 will be good as you can see this or if you want to move it closer then you can give it 10 dp whatever you want I mean uh, this design and now let's uh, change the color of this button to red so for that we can simply say red and hollow red dark it will be good and now let's change the text color for this so we can set text color android background light so it's look perfect so this is our design okay and now the next thing is uh, that here you can also if you want you can increase the profile picture size 
just like that okay and as I told you at the start I mean for all the other fragments these two buttons will be invisible so what we gonna do is that here we can say for the accept button we can say visibility and it should be invisible and also the second button that will also be the visibility for it will be invisible so yeah that's it and now we have to cast uh, and I mean to define and initialize these fields on our request fragment so for that I mean we can do that uh, once we uh, in the next video tutorial we will do it once we uh, retrieve all the users okay so then we will uh, work on that and we will uh, access these buttons and also I mean this layout when we were uh, when we will be retrieving the uh, all the requests alongside with these two uh, functionalities which is accept and cancel so we'll be work on that in the next video tutorial and yeah that's it for this video and if anyone is new to our channel then please subscribe our channel coding cafe thumbs up for this video and see you guys in the next video bye for now